Today, we're talking about essential apps that sim racers use. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, which you probably are, consider subscribing as I try to post new racing content weekly. And while you're down there, if you can add a like, it just helps the algorithm and helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitch, there's a link down in the description. I usually stream on weekends and sometimes on weeknights. In this week's video, we're talking about essential apps. I use a lot of apps when I'm driving. I use uh, a plethora of them just because I need a lot of information when I'm driving. And there's some that aren't text, there's some that are voice, and there's some that are for when I'm actually looking at data. So in this week's video, I just wanted to go over some of the apps that I feel that are essential, whether you're a veteran or if you're new to sim racing, this is what you should download. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First up is SimHub. SimHub is one of those sleeper apps that a lot of sim racers use. If you have a DDU, Rumble Motors, or a Butt Kicker, this is a must and also a lovely dashboard. I have the free version, which is enough for my needs, but you can pay for the fully licensed version, which will unlock its full potential. I primarily use SimHub for my GSI wheel and also the Sim 3D Rumble Motors. The price is free, or you can pay for the full version that starts at $7.64, and it just goes up from there, whatever you feel most comfortable paying. Next up is Race Labs. Race Labs is a modern overlay software that gives you a lot of information while you're driving. I use these overlays on every race and they are pretty much life-saving. I use auto fuel for my races where I have to pit and Race Labs will calculate how much fuel to get you to the end of the race based off of your lap average and the amount of time left in the race. I used a lot of the standard features too, like relative standings and also telemetry. Telemetry I mainly use so I can visually see my inputs on the graph to see if I'm over braking or getting on the gas too soon. One of the race laps features that I use most is the radar feature. This feature has saved my butt so many times in close battles and most recently in the rain. I can see visually how close I am to cars around me and that will help you have a competitive edge over some people that may not have it. Currently, it supports iRacing, Assetto Corsa, ACC, R-Factor, LMU, and also F1. The price, it's free to download, but to unlock some of the features I mentioned, you have to pay to upgrade, which in my opinion is worth it. So if you have the money, I would definitely just shell it out and unlock its full potential. I will leave a link down in the description to download the app so you can try it out for yourself. Next up, we got Crew Chief. Now, every sim racer, especially with a single monitor, should have Crew Chief. If you don't know what Crew Chief is, it's pretty much your guardian angel for sim racers. It's a piece of software that acts as a spotter and engineer, giving you real-time data to help you start and finish your race. Having a spotter makes you feel like a professional driver and the standard spotter on iRacing doesn't give you enough info and ACC, to my knowledge, doesn't have a spotter. I can't tell you how many times it's helped me when a car is in my blind spots or just giving me updates on my fuel or my position or my lap countdown and also the weather. V6, the track temp is 81, the air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Okay, Peter, be ready. Let's go, we've got 10 minutes left, 10 minutes to go. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. Still there. Clear right. Crew Chief is free to download and I will leave a link down in the description so you can download it and try it out. I highly recommend this and this is probably the number one app that you should download. Next up, I believe this is only available for iRacing, it's VRS. 
Now, VRS is for telemetry and also to get more detailed information, you need to pay for it, but it's valuable information that you get every week and there's different setups and I use those setups pretty much every week in my open class races. I'm big on comparing my lap times to the pros and see where I'm losing time. And it just helps visually being able to see it on a graph or also you can do like a ghost setup and you can see how they're braking or they're getting on the gas or taking each turn or taking each apex. Lastly, they have lap tutorials, which helps learning new tracks and cars because not all cars have the same gearing or brake points. And I've noticed that, you know, the Ferrari is much different than the Porsche and you can be in a di completely different gear in the Ferrari versus the Porsche and it will make up that much of a difference in time. So I would highly recommend that you would download the VRS app. Um, I believe that they have the telemetry for free and you also get like one car of setups for free, but then you have to pay like an additional $10 to get unlock all of the vehicles. But I would recommend definitely just trying out the free version first. Let's not forget Discord. Discord is all about community. So when you're on Discord, you're able to find servers or set up your own server and you can have fellow racers or anyone pretty much in your server and in your different channels and you can just talk about whatever you want to talk about. It's pretty much a social aspect. So it's not like Facebook or Instagram, but they're also there's text there's video there's a lot of voice voice channels are pretty essential when you're racing with other friends or if you're even in a racing league most racing leagues are on discord so i would highly recommend uh downloading discord if you want to be a part of the community and be av available in some of the the league races so you can find out more information so download that i have a link down in the description And lastly, we have the iRacing Companion app. This one is exclusive to iRacing, so you can skip it and go to the end. Whether you're a seasoned iRacing veteran or just getting started, this app is a must for every racer. You can check your career stats, and my favorite is the race results, and it also keeps you in the loop with upcoming races, series, and also events. Plan your racing calendar, and you can set reminders and never miss a chance to compete in your favorite races. And let's not forget about the social and community aspect. Connect with fellow racers. You can join forums and stay updated on the latest news and discussions within the iRacing community. So there you have it. A quick overview of the iRacing Companion app. If you're serious about your sim racing journey, this app is your go-to companion. Trust me, it's a game changer and it will help you just stay on, on track of like what time races are because I usually end up forgetting. And it's free. So download it. That's all I have for this video. Hopefully that was some valuable information for you if you're new to sim racing or if you've just been a veteran and didn't know that these apps existed. Um, like I said, you can go down in the description. I have a link to them and you can download them and try them out for yourself. But thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Peace.